In the 1950s, Gillies Bay was both a community of summer cottages for professionals from Vancouver and a growing mining town. In 1952, the Texeda Mines Limited Iron Mine Company established a campsite that became home to 200 miners and staff. A book exchange was set up by two women whose husbands were office employees at the iron mine. They kept a book exchange shelf in their own homes. In 1960, this book shelf became a cupboard library and got a permanent home in the commissary building. It held 150 books and the bookshelf was open for one hour a day on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. Soon after, the iron mine donated a bunkhouse that became the permanent home for the first library on Texeda. It was run by volunteers and was open for a few hours a week on Wednesday evenings and on Saturdays. The library was a popular destination for readers in the community, which included both families from the iron mines and people who came to stay at summer cabins in Gillies Bay. The library bunkhouse was a small building with high bookshelves and a collection of many popular books that had been donated, including a small collection of children's books. Most of the patrons who used the Gillies Bay Library were mining families who lived in the community year-round. Mary Lepke recalls that her and her brother, whose family spent the summers in a cottage in Gillies Bay, would bring their own reading material with them from their home in the city for summer break. They both loved reading, but would pack everything they needed before heading to Texeda by ship. The community of Blubber Bay, which was a company town for quarry workers and their families, didn't have its own library in the 1960s, although it did have a post office and school. In 1961, the Blubber Bay Community Association was formed with Bud Fiscus as its president and they almost immediately set up a library cupboard with books in the community hall. Just like in Gillies Bay, this was a book exchange and it was open on certain days each week. Unfortunately, the Blubber Bay Book Exchange program didn't really take root in the community and it was soon after discontinued. Another memorable public feature in the community halls in Texada in the 1960s were community-sponsored movie screenings that took place in all the community halls in Blubber Bay, Gillies Bay, and Venanda. Not everyone had television sets, and many people in summer cottages in Gillies Bay didn't even have electricity. So the screening of new movies was a big deal that made kids excited and brought the communities together. At the time, the roads on Texada were not paved. Few people had vehicles, and fewer had driver's licenses. Also, ferry travel from Blubber Bay to Powell River was much more limited than it is today, with a small five-car ferry serving the community. The absence of a library in Blubber Bay left locals with the Open Shelf Library, an on-order distance library based in Victoria, as their only option. Cecile Campbell learned about the provincial Open Shelf Library from the school teacher Joan Young. This service was available free of charge it had been set up in 1919 and was available across British Columbia. Families all over Texada participated in the Open Shelf Library and received a list of titles that were available and they would make their selection for up to four books at a time which they would receive by mail about once a month. The service allowed Cecile to give her children a steady supply of reading material since they were very avid readers. The Open Shelf Library service was discontinued by the provincial government in 1975, just before the quarry started to dismantle the town of Blubber Bay. On the other side of Texada, there had been a, the bustling towns of Venanda and Texada City in the 1890s and early 1900s. At the time, there were many businesses, including a newspaper, but the business center was destroyed by fire and the town was largely abandoned after the mine shut down during the economic slump of the Spanish flu pandemic in 1919. Libraries came to Venanda when the community began to grow again in the 1940s. In 1944, the Imperial Order of the Daughters of the Empire made a donation of 85 children's books to the local school, creating Texada's first school library, which of course was only accessible to students. The importance of school libraries 
to children in Texada over the decades cannot be underestimated. And for many uh, children who grew up on Texada, school libraries were the main source of reading material during their childhood years. In time, the Venanda School Library acquired a good collection of books that was tailored to the needs of middle school students, including many reference books about local history and local interest topics such as fishing. When the Blubber Bay and Gillies Bay schools closed and Texada High School students began to study in Powell River, the Texado School Library shifted to serve the needs of younger readers in the lower grades, which is still the case today. Just as in the other communities, a bookshelf library was also set up in Venanda in the early 1960s. The Venanda Exchange Library was maintained by Mrs. J.K. Johnson inside of Mary's Snack Bar. This bookshelf was part of the cafe experience, and people enjoy reading while eating their food in the cafe. Unfortunately, it disappeared along with Mary's Cafe in the early 70s. By this time, there was improved road access to the Gillies Bay Library and improved ferry service giving access to libraries in Powell River. In 1975, after the open shelf library had been discontinued by the province, a group of Texadans approached the Powell River District Library asking for support and assistance. In response, the Powell River District Library agreed to send a block loan of 200 books every three months to the Gillies Bay Library to help expand the collection. As well, it agreed to pay for some of the operating expenses of Texado's library. Then in 1976, the Iron Mine sold the library to the Gillies Bay Community and District Association for the sum of one dollar after which the library became known officially as the Texada Library. In 1979, the library building was moved off of the private, privately owned land uh, where it was previously to publicly owned grounds uh, near the community hall. The biggest change came in 1987 when the Texada Library came to its present location, which was the former Gillies Bay School site. From the beginning, the Powell River District Library has paid the rent for the Texada to use that location. At the time, the Texada Library packed its new location with over 1,000 books, including many books that had been discarded from Powell River. Spearheaded by the efforts of Tom Reed, in 2008, the Regional District made an addition onto the library into the outdoor carport just adjacent to the back door. This doubled the size of the library and allowed for new shelving to be added. Library coordinator John Wood also secured high-speed internet access and new computers and bookshelves for the library. In 2010, the Texada Library came to a new agreement with the Powell River Public Library's Chief Librarian Charlie Kriegel. In addition to the block loan, the Powell River Library agreed to expand other services including author readings, workshops, story times, and books by mail from the Powell River Library. At the same time, a group of retired librarians, Anne Carney, Dick Turner, and Pam Kenny, relocated to Texada and started to volunteer for the library. Dick took on the task of reorganizing the growing collection following the Dewey system. He has since taken the lead in managing the collection uh, development and acquisitions for books, while Kim Lim has taken on the management for the purchasing of new DVDs. Today, the Texada Library houses a collection of 4,500 books, <clears throat> plus 1,600 DVDs and a few CDs and magazines. Library hours were expanded to several hours each day, seven days a week. The Texada Library has really filled its expanded space and has become a vital community access point for internet and open Wi-Fi. It has two public computers and a professional library circulation software which had been provided by the Power River Library. An annual book sale of books that were damaged or out of date helps to fundraise for the library and has made it possible for the purchase of all of these new books and DVDs. One question you might wonder is what do Texadans like to read? What do they like to watch? 
Among the most popular items are mysteries of all sorts. For nonfiction, people like DIY and cookbooks, gardening books. But DVDs stand out and they really rival books in terms of their popularity.